Good morning, everyone. This is Kai, and I'm just taking me a quick morning walk. I didn't get to go to the gym yesterday because my sweetie pie, Leah, had a lot of homework. So I'm going to definitely, on my lunch break, um, hit the gym. But right now, I'm just taking me a walk. And I wanted to show you guys my outfit. So I got me a brand new workout outfit and some new shoes. And um, I was just thinking this morning that if we all knew our true value, that we would treat ourselves much better than we do. If we all knew how special, how unique we were made to be different, to be set apart, to be who we are, if we all knew what uh, features we had were custom designed just for us, if we all really knew what a treasure we were, we would treat ourselves much better. We would invest in our health. We would pamper ourselves. We would get our nails done for women and our toes done and our hair, you know, looking nice. And we would treat ourselves just for the heck of it, a trip, you know, to Jamaica or Bermuda. We would just celebrate ourselves more if we really just valued who we who we are we wouldn't think it's robbery like for me for example to buy me a new workout outfit I have plenty of a workout outfits but I don't think it's robbery to treat myself to a workout outfit I don't think it's robbery to do nice things for myself I don't think it's uh anything wrong with that and I just wanted to encourage anybody out there who's because maybe feeling down and depressed about themselves or who may have low self-esteem or low a low self-image because they've gained a lot of weight they may have tried to lose it in the past and they've just been struggling with it i want to encourage you that no matter how much weight that you put on your physical body does not compare to how much weight that you put on your, your on your um on your spirit how you weigh yourself down with the negative thoughts weigh yourself down with thinking you have to compare weigh yourself down thinking that you have to measure up to how somebody else looks or how somebody else laughs or how somebody else is more social and you're less social the weight that you put on your heart to be like somebody else to act like somebody else that's more than the weight that's on your body and um I just want to encourage you to let that go, to embrace the uniqueness in you, to say that in all that I am, I'm going to be, I'm going to work with what I got. In all that I have, um, for example, I'm, I've always been thick and curvaceous. Even when I lose weight, that's just how my body is shaped. And I've never really thought anything about it or had any issues with it but then I had somebody compare me to my sister who my sister is just bone skinny and so if I would have allowed them to compare me to her then I couldn't celebrate all that was good about me I couldn't say girl you got a beautiful curvaceous Vic beautiful body long hair you working it and that's what I want to hear some of you say I want you to brag on you you get what I'm saying I want you to celebrate all of the goodness that's in you it's not having an ego it's not being buffed up with pride it's giving God props say thank you you did good you did